guys, welcome back to the view with Ola Duni. Ola Duni. Ola Duni. Yeah, let go. <laughs> Daddy, shit. What? What? So as usual, I'm here with another interesting topic, you know. If yeah, the little magic that you could spend. What do you think I should eat? Or what do you think I should eat? My little tempted jokes. What's my name? Got daddy. Big tunes. Got the club banging. Less man. More buddies. What's that? It's a drop top caddy. What's? Hey, beautiful people of Everland TV. You're welcome back to another wonderful episode of. The view with your girl Ola Duni Pepe Rempe. And as usual, I come with the hot, hot topics as usual. You know me, you know how I do it. I keep it 100. So if you're not subscribed, please do that now. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it so you'll be the first to get our videos once we upload. And today we're going to be talking about something sweet as usual something nice we're talking about supporting our friends in business you know this 21st century most of us are going into um what should sorry i have a beach most of us are going into businesses selling stuff doing stuff creating content you know just trying to put our heads out our heads up and sticking ourselves out there and you know the many many challenges that comes with it the country is not even helping to start with. We know the country is so hard that we, some of us, some of us have chosen to do legal things to put food on our table and money in our pockets. So how do we support ourselves? How do we support a growing business? You know, the other day I had a friend make a comment about my channel and. For somebody I call a friend, that came off as offended. I was very offended by it. She made a comment and she, I sent her a link to my video, as usual. And she was like, you're going to have to start subscribing for me to watch your videos. And I'm like, okay. Does Mark Zuckerberg subscribe for you to use Facebook? She said, ah, it is different now. Mark Zuckerberg is a big person. You, you are just starting. So watching your face, your YouTube videos is just because we want to support you. So you will not say your friends are not supporting. And I'm like, okay. Well, I ended the conversation telling her, when Mark Zuckerberg starts paying you for using Facebook, then I will start paying you for watching the view. Because I don't get the logic. Because Mark Zuckerberg is big. You don't feel anyhow using a that a data that is supposed to to last you one month you don't mind using it for one day because it's Mark Zuckerberg now he's big and you're making him richer but you can't support your own friend doing something you feel you are helping my life by so doing yes I understand that you are supporting me by clicking the link and I appreciate that but you putting it in my face telling me if I don't support you nobody will come on that was totally unnecessary and there was this other day I had a talk with someone and in quotes, he said, uh, "Now just they start now. Now go make them. She been a blow, now won't blow." And I'm like, "Is that supposed to be funny? Is this the point where I laugh? Because I'm still trying to get the joke in it. You don't tell people that are just starting a business, a YouTube, anything, anything at all. They are just starting. Or your friend got a new job, and your friend is trying to get to work early, eight, and you're like, ah, he still they shock you. Later you go, no, I'm like." I don't understand. I used to always say such things. To me, I find them very offensive. I find them very unsupportive. You don't say such. Yes, it can be shocking this person, but it's not in your place to tell them it is shocking them. You're supposed to encourage them to actually go early, not to just um, you know put their morale down. We are friends for a reason. We are friends to support ourselves. We are friends to boost our confidence. That's why we keep friends, not because we just want to keep friends. I don't know if that makes any sense. We, are, we keep friends to support us, to help us. So if you have a friend that starts, that is just starting a business or something like this or anything of the sort, I listed out, um, I think, five points that we should take note. Number one is patronize them and pay. See, this is a very key point because most of the time when we have friends that do businesses, 
we want to buy from them, but we don't want to pay. Probably we don't want to pay at all, or we don't want to pay in full because we feel, ah, uh -uh, waiting. I they support you. Okay, you they support me, but if you were using, okay, if you were using another another particular vendor that is not your friend that does this same exact thing, you will pay. You will pay in full. But now because this is your friend, you don't want to pay. If everybody goes on like that, how do you think this person is? You think this person is going to be able to? keep this business I don't know if you get me see my sister I have an elder sister by the way and my sister is like the person that has done the most business in my family she sold airtime she sold several things right now she has a food outlet and so to be fair we have very supportive parents my dad goes as far as buying food from her and paying her for the food he could actually do without paying come on he's our father but he knows the he knows the the, um, the importance of support. You don't just take the food because she's your daughter and you don't pay. Patronize these people and pay. You have a friend that does photography and this person has willingly um, volunteered to cover your event, even if they are saying don't pay. A token will not kill you. Don't say uh uh Shabina. Don't let me mention my photographers around me now. Shabina, a big day, now blessing. I suppose give them one small change. No. Pay these people if you use bigger vendors or yeah in quotes bigger vendors you will pay them well and these people are giving you they are giving you what they are giving you quality so just pay them pay them patronize them and pay don't just patronize pay them another thing is refer them refer them see referrals go a long way even if you don't buy from me and like me I have so many I have a little businesses I do on the on the corner corner I'm a hustler even if you don't buy from me refer somebody to buy from me see I have friends that they've never bought a thing from me but they've referred somebody to buy from me for instance there is this girl I, I am friends with you now Tommy C if you're watching this shout out to you see I met her through Ololade Ololade has never bought perfume from me before but I heard Tommy C looking for somebody to buy perfume from and he introduced Tommy C to me and just like that, I became a perfume club. Just that little referral went a long way and it created a bond between me and Tony that now I can actually call her my friend. Refer them. I'm a person that I don't eat purple. But if my friend sells purple, I'm not about to start eating purple because my friend sells purple. But I'm going to introduce my friend to all my other purple eating friends. And I'm going to refer them. I'm going to tell people about them because that is how to help a person just start it you don't know somebody cannot now be looking for a vendor that sells purple and then i would say ah i don't know or i'll refer you to another person it's not good enough refer them the first one i said patronize them and pay then refer them another one is post them post them on your social media and advertise them for free advertise them they don't have to beg you that please help me put this on my on your status or please help me share or please talk about them post them this is for your friends me i will do that for my friends in a heartbeat see i have friends that also have a growing youtube channel like mine and i just take it upon myself to subscribe it's not to click the button i just take it upon myself to subscribe and for but to just put this out there, eh? if you are my friend and you are watching this and you have not subscribed, unfriend me. Say your name. Let me say my name. Is it saying something? Because you cannot be following me and then you, 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 you don't post me, you don't support me. I don't see that as friendship. I see, I, I, I see that as, I don't know, but it's not friendship. Post them. Talk about them on your status. Oh, you could patronize my friend. She sells best hair in town. You don't, you don't know who you see. You don't know. So patronize them and pay. Refer them, post them, encourage them with words. Honestly speaking, starting a new business has got to be one of the hardest things as a like one of the hardest things youth go through. Because this adulting thing, eh, we just don't ever get ready for it. You just find yourself in it and you're trying to put your leg on the ground. So many factors trying to you know push you away. And starting a new business is so hard. You don't know if you're doing it right. See, I started, we started YouTube with 20 subscribers and today we have 123 subscribers and others counting. And you know, at a point it felt like, oh, nobody has viewed. Our first video was 200 views and then 30 
and then I was giving up, I was, I was feeling low. And I have people in my space telling me, see, it's like that. Keep doing it, keep doing it, just keep dropping content. You don't know how far your words can go. Somebody is like, you see a person post and you're like, ah, because of five views. I beg you, five views one day will turn to a million views. So encourage them with words, encourage them. Don't just say, eh, ah, ah. Encourage them. People, go, people do, they do business. People, I'm using myself as an example because I do business, I do YouTube and stuff. And I also have a 9 to 5. So people that do all these things, encourage them. Somebody might be starting a new work and complain about their boss. Oh, my boss is this, so oh, it's hard, it's been. Encourage this people. And also another point is, encourage them with your funds if you can. If you have the money and you know you are, it won't hurt you to spend this extra. Please encourage these people with your funds. Because, see, sometimes people do business and they forget to take care of themselves. So you could just take this person, your friend out, you know, and pay. You could just bring your friends to their shop and buy things from, from them. You know, just encourage them with your money. If you have it. If you have it. You could pay somebody to advertise for them. If, you see, I'm putting, I'm emphasizing on the fact, if you have it, if you have it, you, you obviously will have one of these lists that I'm, I'm, I'm saying. So if you have it, encourage them with your funds. And finally, pray for them. Pray with them. When they come and tell you stuff they're going through in their business, or they need somebody to pray for them, talk, talk about it. Pray with them. Pray for them. See, I have friends that do businesses, and I am so proud to see that some youth, you know, it's not all girls that are following one allergy. It's not all girls that is one allergy or one sugar daddy senator is putting their boots. Some people actually wake up every day grinding to carry that Gucci bag, grinding to use iPhone 11 Pro, grinding to use the Brazilian man here with 120 density. They are grinding genuinely. So pray for these people that they would not even get weak. See, temptation deal. I know times when I've told myself, last class now runs I go do. As last class there, eh, I will just now sashe because as I'm seeing it like this. But those are okay. It's okay to think about it because the pressure can be on you. But pray for these people. I pray for my friends a whole lot, and I hope and I pray they, and I hope they pray for me also because we actually need it. Eh. Pray for grace because it's not easy. It's not easy. Imagine somebody that. You guys are age mates, you guys are age group, you guys started together. This person is driving Benz and your online store is not yet booming for you to even afford to buy data without complaining. See, it's not easy. So pray for them. So I'm just going to give a recap of the list I've mentioned. Patronize them, very important, and pay. Refer them to people that they can offer their services to. Also, post them. See, some of us have, some of you or us, have like over a hundred views on our WhatsApp status, over a thousand on our Insta stories. Please post your friends' businesses. You don't know who will see it and like it. Encourage them with words. That doesn't cost anything. Just tell them, oh, how is your... I have this person I buy perfume for from in bulk and you know, she just sends me a message randomly. How is business? Or oh, better days ahead. And you know, those little words, they go a long way for me because Sometimes when she asks, business is actually down and they go a long way. Imagine somebody sees me on the road and like, you are the Ola Duny of Debut. I don't even see myself as important yet. But that little, oh, you're doing well, oh. Even if it's the joking, oh, you're doing well. It goes a long way, trust me. Encourage them with your funds if you can. See, people go through a lot. They, business, you gain some, you lose some. Encourage them with your funds if you can. And finally, pray for them. Pray for them. Always pray for your friends. And I hope this point will all run with it because even if you are not doing business, you are not doing YouTube, you are not doing content, one thing, one thing, you are doing something and you need people because we always need people. So, 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 I've come to the end of today's yeah. episode of we'll The View with your girl, Adoni. Don't forget to like, comment, share, well, and well. subscribe and follow us on all yeah. our social media she handles, yeah. Everland TV on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So I come your way again, keep liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, I love you guys.